All right, this video will teach you everything you need to know about removing wine stains from carpet. So every wine stain is a little bit different, but if you spill a glass of wine in your carpet, the absolute worst case scenario is that the dyes and pigments from the wine will bond to the carpet fibers, resulting in a permanent stain. If this happens to you, I'll show you a simple spray and walk away stain removal method that'll make the stain vanish before your eyes. Now wine also has a lot of sugars in it, so as a first step, we want to try and remove the sugars and contaminants from the carpet using a spot removal process. The very first thing I do when I spill a liquid like wine in my carpet is grab a bunch of rags or paper towels and try to absorb as much of the wine from the carpet as possible. The more pressure I apply, the more wine I'll be able to remove from the carpet. If you have a wet dry vacuum, you can also use it to suck the wine out of the carpet. The next thing I do when I spill something in my carpet is spot removal. Spot removal is the process of trying to remove contaminants from the carpet using a spotter. Now there are many different types of spotters that you can buy from your local grocery store. I however am going to be using my favorite spotter which is a homemade solution that I call DIY spotter. I'm going to be using this with a mini wet dry vacuum. This DIY spotter works extremely well on virtually any kind of spot. If you want to learn more about it and all the things you can use it for, click the suggested video on the screen. So I previously mentioned that sometimes the dyes or pigments in wine can become permanently bonded to the carpet fibers. Whether or not this happens can depend on a variety of factors such as the type of carpet you have, how old the stain is, and even the temperature of the wine when it landed in your carpet. So you can see in my demo that the stain on the right came out really easily, but the stain on the left appears to be a permanent stain. So that brings us to the final step which is called stain removal. For stain removal, I will be using 6% hydrogen peroxide and household ammonia. I'll spray the hydrogen peroxide in the carpet liberally. I'm using salon grade hydrogen peroxide which is 6% strength. 3% medical grade hydrogen peroxide is generally too weak to remove stains from carpet, so I typically recommend using 6% strength for carpet cleaning purposes. I'll post an Amazon link for the 6% hydrogen peroxide in the description below the video. After adding the hydrogen peroxide, I'm also going to add a few sprays of household ammonia to the carpet. Then I'll let it sit and we can see over the course of this time lapse that the stain starts to vanish. Now depending on your circumstances, the stain could disappear quickly or it could take several hours or even a few repetitions before the stain completely disappears. I repeated this process three times on this stain and each time I let the hydrogen peroxide and ammonia sit overnight. On a microscopic level, what's happening here is there are millions of tiny dye molecules from the wine that have become permanently attached to the carpet fibers. And since we were unsuccessful at taking these dye molecules out of the carpet, the only choice we have left is to destroy them using a chemical reaction. The chemical reaction that we're using is called an oxidation reaction. And essentially what happens is the hydrogen peroxide reacts with the dye molecules causing them to collapse. Then once the dye molecules have been broken down, they lose their color properties and become invisible. The two steps that I showed you in this video, spot removal and stain removal, can actually be used to remove the vast majority of spots and stains from carpet. In a nutshell, carpet cleaning is actually pretty simple. As a first step, we should always try to take the contaminant out of the carpet using a spotter. Then as a second step, if the contaminant does not want to come out of the carpet, we can try to use a chemical reaction to destroy the molecules that are left stuck in the carpet. Now just to wrap up this video, when the stain is gone, take a cloth and use it to absorb the remaining liquid from the carpet. The hydrogen peroxide will break down into water and oxygen, and the ammonia will completely evaporate. So once the carpet completely dries, there will be zero residue left in the carpet. If you want to learn more carpet cleaning tips and tricks, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.